An employee stated that he only visits the business once or twice per month at the most. American Pickers star Mike Wolf hid his identity while working just a few feet away from his Tennessee antique business in order to avoid admirers who were dying to see him, according to information obtained by the United States Sun in an exclusive interview. On November 3, at 11 in the morning, Mike, who was 60 years old, made his way to the offices of Antique Archaeology in Nashville, Tennessee. Before getting out of his car, the eyewitness informed the United States Sun in an exclusive interview that the suspect threw on a yellow hat, which he had not been wearing earlier in the day while he was making a coffee run. The building that Antique Archaeology calls home also houses a number of other enterprises on the ground level and professional offices on the upper two floors. An informant told us that Mike had entered the store through a back door on the opposite side of the building. Between the hours of 11 p.m. and 3 p.m., he was up there. Even though he was standing only a few feet away from the store, he did not go inside. Another claim made by the eyewitness was that clients who were coming into and leaving the store questioned the personnel about the famous owner. Fans asked if Mike was going to stop by, but employees said he only comes in once or twice a month, and they aren't sure when the next time would be the insider said. They don't know when the next time would be. According to a second source, fans have the best chance of seeing Mike on Fridays and Saturdays at Columbia Motor Alley in Columbia, Tennessee, where he spends most of his time. The star of American Pickers was dressed in khaki pants, a button-down long-sleeve shirt, and a yellow baseball cap. He also wore a baseball cap. He was accompanied by his cherished pet, Francie, the whole time. Ignoring the fans? It is not the first time that Mike has let down the expectations of his admirers by not appearing in public. It was earlier stated by the United States Sun that Mike promoted Tugfest in La Claire, Iowa. Tugfest is an annual celebration that took place from August 10 to 12, and it has a parade, fireworks spectacular, color blaze five craze, carnival, and a tug-of-war between Yawa and Illinois across the Mississippi River. A few days before the festival, Mike shared the following message on Instagram. One of the coolest bonuses of setting up shop near the mighty Mississippi, taking part in an event that is unlike any other, Tugfest. Join us this weekend in La Claire of Iowa to experience the small-town charm of the area, watch the legendary tug-of-war rivalry, and investigate antique archaeology. It's a thrill that only comes around once a year, and it's as one of a kind as our treasures. Even though he encouraged his Instagram followers to come with him, Mike did not show up, according to the U.S. Sun. Antique Archaeology, like many other local companies, did not take part in the parade that took place on August 10, despite the fact that they distributed sweets and items to the attendees of the event. As a substitute, Antique Archaeology celebrated Tugfest by providing customers who made purchases of $59 or more with a free refrigerator magnet. At the time of the event, Mike was living the most of his life in Tennessee, thus he was there. His residence in Yoa is situated on the banks of the Mississippi River and directly opposite the fairgrounds. The United States Sun was told by multiple inhabitants of La Claire that Mike does not frequently visit the area, despite the fact that he has encouraged his followers on various social media platforms to do so. Mike and Letitia Klein, his girlfriend at the time, did in fact go to the event in 2021.